Welcome. In this video, you will learn how to add and edit rooms and units within ResNexus. To navigate to this page, you click on Settings, and then under Lodging Settings, you click on Rooms slash Units. You'll notice this page lists all the rooms that we've previously created. Let's go ahead and create a new room. For this video, let's create a room, and first we have to give it a unit ID, which will be in this case 11. Give it a name, a max capacity, and a description. On descriptions, it's better to include a paragraph or two instead of just a very short description. That seems to go over uh, more effectively, especially on the online booking engine. Next, with regards to rooms and units, we have to indicate what the standard rate is. Let's go ahead and click Add Standard Rate. For this example, I'm going to add two standard rates. One is going to go from January 1st to May 15th, and the weekend is going to be $25 more than a weekday. You can add a name or you can leave it blank. Now, I do need to add another rate. Notice that there is a warning still from ResNexus saying that there are missing rates. If you don't enter in a rate for a room on the online booking engine, it will display as occupied because it doesn't know what rate to publish. So let's go ahead and add another rate. This one is going to be from May 16th to the end of the year. Let's pretend this is our busy season. So it's going to be a little the rate will be a, will be a little higher. Notice that the warning went away. So you can create standard rates as well as special rates um, throughout the year. The we do recommend that you keep the number of rates while while you can't add an unlimited number uh, we do recommend that you keep it uh, within reason. The main reason is it takes a lot of time to enter rates and as if you were to increase or de decrease your rates it does take a significant amount of time to adjust your rates. Most businesses have a handful to a dozen rate, rates per unit or room. With special rates and holidays we click on the add special rate the example I like to give is the Kentucky Derby. I don't, I don't remember what time of year it is, but let's say that it is uh, May 8th to May 12th. We have some great Kentucky Derby clients. And during that time period, they'll charge a significant amount. And they're, because their vacancy really drops and they're heavily occupied and so they'll charge you know uh, significantly more than their normal rate so as we notice here as we create a Kentucky Derby special rate uh, those so when phone reservations or online uh, online reservations are being made for this time period that rate will trump the standard rate so most businesses will add standard rates and then add some special rates for key events that happen in their area throughout the year. For the next example, we need to talk about charging more for additional guests and how to configure that within rooms. Let's go ahead and change the max capacity to be 3 instead of 2. I'm going to come down and click Save. Notice again we get our warning saying that we're missing rates. And the reason for that is that we don't have a rate for when, the, when there are three guests staying in this room. What we can do, there are several different ways. There's, two, there's actually two different ways that we can fix this. We can go into our existing rates and basically say for each additional adult, I'd like to charge $25 more. I'm going to do it on the second one as well. 
and notice that that warning goes away. Now what that means is that if the guest books uh, online or by phone and indicates that they have two guests, they'll charge them the normal rate. If they book with three guests, the rate will automatically go up by $25. Now if you had a capacity of four or five, it just continues to go. This is the recommended way that we, for handling adult, extra adults, or rates based on the number of guests in a given unit or room. There is a second way uh, to do it and to add rates as far as additional guests. And what we would do in that scenario is we'd go back in and we'd say we change these to be zero and then we'd add a rate specifically for for three guests now to make this match we need to change this to be May 15th and then we would also add another item for this May 16th through May through December 31st. Now, why the second method exists is in case, uh, let's say we have four guests. So if, if uh, what you charge based on guest doesn't scale appropriately, so let's say that four guests is just $10 more, instead of $25 more you can get very custom with regards to pricing uh, the room based on how many guests are in it. Once again we don't recommend we recommend instead of doing that that you add in an extra adult amount like we did previously. Continuing on, we can, once you create a room, you can copy rates from another room. So for example, if we copy from room 3, it will blow away all the rates we've put in and copy the rates from that other room. Now let's go ahead and drop this back down to a maximum capacity of 2. I'm going to pause for a minute on this page and go to a different tab. Let's go to the Pictures tab. High quality pictures make a big difference, especially with regards to online bookings. We recommend pictures that are 600 by 400 pixels in size. To upload a picture, you click Choose File and then you browse on your computer to where that those room pictures are. You can add multiple room pictures. In this example I'm just going to add one and then click Save. To remove a picture you click the Remove, the remove checkbox and then click Save at the bottom. Let's, while we're on it, let's go to the Remove tab. We can, you can remove a, a room or unit if there are no future reservations for that room or unit. You simply click the box and click Save. Returning to the information page, one of the nice features of ResNexus, especially when you're setting up your rooms and units, is the ability to clone those units. For example, let's say that we wanted three more of these rooms. We would enter in three and then click the clone button and ResNexus would create three more rooms identical to this current room. That makes set, that saves a lot of time with regards to setting up your rooms. Finally, let's go over room options. The first option is a field in which you can uh, copy and paste a link. To override um, the more information uh, tab on the online booking engine and so for example 
if when the guest is looking at a room, if you want them to look at your website instead of uh, ResNexus will pop up more additional pictures and amenities and, and items like that. If you want it to go straight to your web your web page, sometimes you'll have like a 360 tour, or you just want to you want to display more information than what ResNexus displays. You can override that link. The next item is to basically make this room or unit not be available online. Sometimes there are units that are available for phone reservations only, but they're not available online. You can also, uh, for this room, you can create rooms where it is available online, but guests must call in to book that item. Sometimes that will be an entire property rental. Um, so you'll, you'll create a room that represents renting out the entire property, but you check this box so that they have to call in to make that size of a reservation. The final option is uh, whether you want this room to be included in room reports. In summary, it's, it's really easy to add rooms and units within ResNexus. You enter in the unit number, name, description, and capacity. You create standard rates and special rates. You upload pictures. And if you, as you're creating new rooms, you can uh, copy rates from other rooms. You can also clone uh, rooms so that you don't have to manually create each room one at a time. And then you customize the options that you want for that room slash unit.